Totem Tale, A Tall Story from Alaska by Deb Venice. Deep in the cedar forest stood a totem pole, stark and still. Long ago, a carver stacked the totem animals and then forgot them. One night, the moon rose low and full, washed in the light of the moonbeams, the totem sprang to life. Frog leapt and twirled, kicking the stiffness from the long legs tucked up tight for countless years. Beaver waddled to the stream, delighted in, this, in the loud slap of his tail against the water. Eagle swooped and dove with outreached wings and silvery salmon darting beneath her looming shadow. Grizzly wriggled his back against the tall tree, growling with the relief of a long itchy finally itch finally scratched. Wolf lifted her voice toward the howling moon with the pure joy of silence broken and Raven strutted cocking its head and chattering to himself. All too soon, a hint of dawn brushed the blackened sky. The totems must return to the pole, for the rising sun will trap them in the land of in-between and never there. But none of them could, could remember how they fit. Each one wanted, to play, wanted the place of honor at the top of the pole. I'm the largest and the loudest, Grizzly roared. He shimmied to the top, but the pole swayed back and forth beneath his weight. All the totems toppled to the ground. I'm a fearless hunter, said the wolf. With a quick scamper, he took her place on top. But her sharp claws dug into the thin skin of the eagle's neck. And down they went after the other. I have the sharpest eyes, bragged Eagle, stretching her great wide wings to claim her spot. But her tail feathers tickled Wolf's nose and a loud kerchoo sent them tumbling again. I fall in the tallest trees, said Beaver, lumbering up the pole. But he wasn't used to sitting up so high. After a teetering moment, he rolled off, taking the others with him. Who sings the sweetest song of night? asked Frog. I don't see what singing has to do with it, grumbled Wolf. But she crouched to, the, to let the others climb up. With a skip and a hop, Frog left to the very top where she she danced an excited jig that made the pole quiver and shake till they all fell down. There's something you've forgotten, squawked Raven, shaking his head. Together we're, we told a story, a story of how Frog muddied the water to hide Beaver from, da from danger, and Beaver dammed the stream so Eagle could fish from a quiet pool, and how Eagle led Grizzly to the wide patches of berries and how Grizzly shared his den with Wolf one could cold winter night. The totems looked at each other, nodding and remembering. They took their story place. Frog, then Beaver, then Eagle, then Grizzly, then Wolf. It was perfect. Then Raven flapped and fluttered to the top as the first sunbeam shimmered over the horizon, casting the broad light of day on a story that will last forever.